And April is Donate Life Month. And thanks to advancements in the transplant surgery area, more people are getting the opportunity to have an organ transplant. News 8's Danielle Zolkowski joins us with the story of transplant success that doesn't always happen. Most people have heard of a kidney or a liver transplant, but how about a bowel transplant? This is becoming more successful and is saving lives for those who have no other options. One Rucheville man tells me getting new intestines at University Hospital gave him a second chance at life with his wife and family. Tony Finch was a normal and healthy adult up until October 2017. That was until he started to rapidly lose weight out of the blue. In total, he lost 60 pounds over a couple of months. He had to visit multiple doctors before ending up at IU Health. No one could figure out why he suddenly stopped absorbing nutrition from the food he ate. When I met Tony, he was very weak, severely malnourished, and had a very poor quality of life um, because of his GI symptoms. And um, by the time he was referred to our intestine transplant team, he had tried a lot of diets, even some specialized tube feedings and all and all of those failed. So his only option is to go on something called Total Parenteral Nutrition or TPN. It took 21 months for Finch to finally get his transplant. His dietitian Tracy Birch, was a key part of getting him healthy enough for this surgery and his recovery after it. He actually had some of the highest IV needs that I've seen of any of the patients I've worked with. So he was home on TPN and additional IV fluids, sometimes up to 10 liters a day. He had a successful replacement of his entire small intestine and part of his large intestine on July 11, 2019. He says his wife Lisa played a key role in his at-home care. At the time, I don't remember a lot of this stuff because I was so dehydrated that I was like uh, hallucinating stuff like that. So a lot of the crap you get in there, I don't even remember other than her telling me I got a transplant. Yeah, I think the biggest thing was just um, trying to keep him nutritionally healthy enough to be out of the hospital, to be home, um, to stay healthy enough to be a good candidate for a transplant, just be on IV nutrition and fluids all that time. That's 24-7 nonstop. Yeah. And she's doing a lot of the IV work here at the house. He and his wife say they're grateful he went from this sick version of himself to playing with his grandkids, all because of his medical team. Appreciate a lot more. Anything else? Kids, grandkids, wife. The Finches go to regular follow-up appointments to make sure Tony is not rejecting his new organs. This July, Tony will celebrate the four-year anniversary of his second chance at life. I'm Danielle Zolkowski for Wish TV, wishtv.com, and like us on Facebook.